Hello my fellow toy hobbyists, I got a vintage beauty for us to look at today. We're going to be looking at the Mask Manta. Now this vehicle is aligned with Venom, so it's a vehicle on the bad side. And I say this just in case you're not familiar with the Mask toy line. Now this is one of my favorites when it comes to the Mask toy line because it was well done and well integrated when it comes to the Mask animated series. The Manta appeared in 34 episodes. Its first appearance was in episode two titled Star Chariot. In the comic books, the Manta made its first appearance in Mask issue three titled The Family Jewels. And here is the pilot of the Manta. This is Vanessa Warfield who has no eyes. Come to think of it, did any of the Mask figures have eyes? I think some had black dots. But anyways, here she is with her mask or helmet. <laughs> anyways, it's supposed to generate an electric whip. And here's the Manta, which is a Nissan 300XZ, something like that. Rolls rather nice. And this is one of the better vehicles within the mask line as far as the play features, which which will look momentarily, but give you a good look at the car. A good looking car for a toy. Now let's go ahead and look at the features. You push this button and uh, I don't know why the other wing, why the other wing gets stuck. And upon pushing that button, the front is supposed to slide out and reveal the cannons. But for whatever reason, I don't know, mine tend to get stuck, but that's what it's supposed to do right there. Now, one of the features I do like is that, that the fact that the back area pops out and it reveals like the thrusters and then that the tail lights become like the spoiler of the tail wing. And of course you can take the wheels and they flip out like this. And this is what you end up with when it's all said and done. And I gotta say, this is pretty cool. I wish they would have integrated this kind of detail into the Thunderhawk, which would have made the Thunderhawk a whole lot better. Yeah. Two open doors constitutes for two wings. All right, let's take a look at the inside. Not much detail going on there, but you can see two seat belts. And then I'm going to show you probably the best play feature of the Manta, which actually is a good mechanism if Vanessa has a bad date. Come on, baby, just a Get little away, kiss. Get away, creep. Come on, baby. That's it, your history. Yeah. And if you're interested, this is what the ejection seat looks like. And yes, her mask is a little bit crooked, but wait, hold on. I think I got her on here backwards. Yes, I do. <laughs> this is how she's supposed to go on this or, or whatever figure. But yeah, pretty cool play feature. Now going back to the Manta, you see where it says 300ZX. You just pull that out and then the thrusters pop out and you flip the spoiler over. And let's look at the front. You see that license plate that says Vanessa. Okay, let's do some comparisons. Here's the Manta Vanessa next to a generation one will jack and they almost almost scale rather well together here is the manta and vanessa next to this big behemoth the mass volcano the bigfoot of the mask world moving right along here i already forgot what it was called here's vanessa and the manta next to the famous thunderhawk again a fun vehicle as far as the cars go within this toy line, this, this could be up there as one of the best ones. And I'm talking about just in terms of the cars. The cars in all the ways, because there were some, especially in the split line, you were like, oh my gosh, Kenner, what were you thinking? And then as I mentioned earlier with the Thunderhawk, which was part of the first wave, the Manta's way better than, than the Thunderhawk. With that said, I hope, and I hope, we get a re-release of Mask. Maybe they'll fix the Thunderhawk this time, but I'd like to see the Manta in that, in that line. 
like to see it with modern features. Thank you for watching. Give me a like, subscribe, get a hobby, and live life.